For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor government, nor things here, nor things to come, nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creation will be able to separate us from God's love. And that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39. Administrators, teachers, and fellow students, good morning. This assembly is being conducted by the students of grade 11P. And our theme for today is the depth of God's love for mankind. My name is Tiara Cunningham and I am the moderator for today's assembly. Please bow your heads and listen as I lead us in prayer. Lord, I thank you for everything that you have done for us. I thank you for everyone that you have put in our lives. I thank you for teachers. I thank you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I thank you for our peers. And may we learn something today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. One way God expresses his love for mankind is through creation. Let's explore creation from the endless skies, the ground earth, and the majestic sea. As we will now share the benefits of the sky for mankind. The massive sky is the panorama obtained from observing the universe from the earth. In this field, the sun provides heat for warmth and daylight to grow vegetation while the moon provides nightlight and assists in controlling the rise and fall of the sea tides along with the other planets and stars they all appear to be drifting in the air to the eye connecting endless systems and galaxies in the universe beyond the light daytime sky appears blue because air molecules scatter shorter wavelengths of sunlight other natural beautiful appearances in the sky are shady clouds rainbows, lightning, and precipitation, all of which send much needed rain, snow, hail, and sleet to the earth to sustain human life. Thank you, Aja, for sharing the benefits of the sky. Renisha will now share the benefits the earth brings to mankind. The earth, the place we all call home, grows food in abundance for all. It is the third planet from the sun and seems to be the only known planet to harbor life. The surface of the earth has great natural beauty for our delight and wanders from the ocean, the lakes and rivers, beaches, mountain ranges, volcanoes, the green forests, endless varieties of pretty flowers and natural stones like gold, silver, and diamonds are all manifestations of the Earth's beauty. Earth's atmosphere creates weather and the seasons of spring, summer, autumn, and winter that we all have come to enjoy, which greatly impacts our day-to-day -day life, which allows life to thrive. And the animals, wild and or domestic, are also a great source of food and joy for humans. Almost 8 billion humans live on Earth and depend greatly on its natural resources for their survival. Thank you, Bernicia, for sharing the benefits the Earth brings to mankind. I will now share the benefits the ocean brings to mankind. Our loving God makes the ocean for the seashore which separates the land from the sea. This body of salt water, which covers approximately 70.8% of the surface of the Earth, is divided into five different areas. The Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Southern or, Atla or Antarctic, and the Arctic. The ocean acts as a huge heat reservoir, influencing climate and weather patterns, the carbon cycle and the water cycle, which greatly impacts the quality of life. In addition, the ocean photosynthesis creates 50% of the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere, while supplying an endless supply of food, beauty, and other natural resources, oil used for mankind's survival. Shawnee will now share the thought for the day. How thankful we are to bask in the great love of our God each and every day. God has also given us the Holy Bible, his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our families, and the wonderful gift of life, a never-ending expression of his love for mankind. For we are convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor governments, nor things here, nor things to come, 
nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creation will be able to separate us from God's love. That is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you, Shane, for sharing the thought of the day. On behalf of the students of grade 11 P and their home teacher, Miss Price, we certainly hope that you enjoyed and benefited greatly from this morning's assembly. We will now conclude this assembly with the singing of the national anthem. Good morning, teachers, students of Patrick J. Brettel. Uh, I wish to thank and congratulate Class 11P on their assembly this morning, God's love for mankind. We, we look at life um, and we take it very lightly. Uh, the way things are in the world today, it is nothing is done or completed without God. And God has truly been good to us. Uh, we are here, we're still alive and we're still functioning. And, and one of the ways we can show our love as God has for us is to just be, just to honor his words. Um, you know, the Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. Um, the Lord gave his one and only son to die and that is the ultimate commitment of love and so the message is timely with all that we're dealing with um, right now we just have to press on and believe in the one and only God and think about all the sacrifices that has been made on our behalf and so his love for us is unconditional and so the, so the best we can do is to reach out and love one another as God has loved us. And so with that, uh, I, I set to you a charge to find someone, anyone. It doesn't have to be somebody that you know. Maybe somebody that, that, that have uh, robbed you the wrong way. And just for, just 
forgive or if or if you have done wrong to someone ask them for their forgiveness and let's begin to love in truth and honesty um we look forward to the school week and the coming months we've got a lot of work to do um we have yet to 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 touch our our end of term exams that is still coming pending so i ask all students of you students to continue pressing on one of the biggest issues that i'm faced with or, or we are faced with is students attending classes and so i have begun um looking into this and i will be um having parent conference with parents of those delinquent children um, as time go on um, signing in is another issue students are still arriving late or sometimes not signing in at all and therefore you're missing out on a lot of things because remember now homeroom especially homeroom is where a lot of information is, is given out so you need to sign in um, the completion of assignments is another thing you you know we we look at it and at the end of term you, you all get a report card and there's a section there called term grade and this is where your term grade comes from the completion of class work and so you can't have the teacher assign 19 pieces of work and you're only turning in one or two that does not bode well for you and so i ask you or i applaud you students to take advantage of the opportunities that teachers are setting for you um the older students with regards to bjc and bgcse reach out to your teachers and find out if they are providing any afternoon classes for you to prepare for the exams. Um, teachers, um, make it known. If you, if you are doing afternoon classes, please send that information to the office, to Mr. Vogue, so that that can be forwarded to me and we can go ahead and make, um, provide that information on the school's Facebook page. Um, but again, we are here, we are pressing on. Patrick J. Bethel is not where we want it to be, but nevertheless, it is what it, it is what it is. And so we must, must keep our feet on the pedal and press forward. And so as I close, I say, um, reach out. Love is the answer. Love is the answer. And I'm not talking about the type of love that you see on television. I'm talking about your care for each other. 